10 mil. It's a good place for it. crushing it on this interior install. I'm gonna show you guys where we're at, what happened. First of all, I know probably 99% of you are gonna ask, where'd you get the harness? Where'd you get the harness? Well, I'm gonna put the email up here or something um, on the screen. He's off the Ram forums. Honestly, this, this harness was so simple. For the front and rear heat, vented seats. I think the heated wheels should work now too. Um, we've got just everything wired and it was super simple. I'm gonna put the email up here. He made the harness, so if you guys have an interior you wanna to swap to, he can make it. Um, and if not, I definitely, if he ever like retires from making these harnesses, I need the diagrams because, yo, that was stupid simple. And I mean stupid simple. Pretty much you just come under, you pop the fuse box out, just like we added or tapped into the wires so we now have fog lights on this truck. Um, pretty much you're just sticking pins in uh, the harness, the factory harness, and he tells you exactly where to, uh, but you're sticking pins in the factory harness because the fuses are there, but the wires aren't. So we just added the wires, ran those to the cab, or through the cab rather. Um, on this truck, it was super simple, just drilled it to where the clutch should be. But like on that truck, I couldn't do that because obviously there's a clutch 
in that hole. So uh, I'll just fit it, find a different grommet. But over here, look at this. He has everything labeled in that harness. Everything labeled in that harness for what pins go where. Even on this one too, look at that. Everything's labeled. And um, all you do is like you slide the red tab out of here and um, the security tab and, and um, push your pins in. This one, same thing. Pop the security um, tab out of here and then uh, stick all your pins in and then lock it. If it doesn't go in the first way, Flip it upside down. It should slide all the way in easily click in over here We have the T harness adapter whatever so now this one kind of just tees off here plugs in goes all the way back And now we got rear heat on that this thing over here um, This one splits goes underneath the carpet goes to the passenger side and then this one here There's actually another harness that should be here from factory, but it's it's everything that's wired in the center console well, if your truck has a console or is a five-seater to start, um, that harness is automatically ran through the center of the truck. Well, if it's not, it's ran through this up to here under the driver's seat, and it connects through um, here if you have that uh, center jump seat because obviously nothing's going to run underneath the carpet there. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, it runs up through here and connects to, like right here. There's another plug. But what we did was to take that harness, ran it up, and it's actually kind of tucked down and through right here in the center console and um, all of that's plugged in over here and then what we did was we had to extend the the switched outlet we just extended those wires because there is another one down in there but like I said because but like I said because that harness is actually over here in this truck and not over here I mean you can undo it and reroute it the whole thing but all we did was just push it under and extend the um, power coming from the uh, switched cigarette lighter and then I also came in here and we put the USB in here the factory USB that is constant power the whole time um, we put that in there as well because why not uh, this truck obviously had it right here and I, I just think in 2014 I think this came out of a 14 or a 16 this center console I just don't think they had I just don't think they had the uh, the USBs in the console but now this one does this honestly like a one inch in like a quarter hole or something and then I just kind of there's a little slot so I just kind of did that with the uh, drill bit and uh, now we have the center console wired for not only the USB the one USB there's another USB uh, up in here this needs clean still but another USB up in there and then in here there's there's nothing really but um, pretty much everything we did so far and the only thing left really I'm waiting on this chrome shifter so that's why these plastics are off but other than that this can go in and um, yeah, those those console brackets with these, this one bolted to the floor, this one bolts to your dash, and then uh, this should all bolt in. <laughs> You're so dumb. Like, Honestly. You're like, really? Like, really? This is my only idea I had. I was like, I know they make flexible ducts. Uh, I, I almost have it all the way through. I thought you were putting on the outside. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's like right there. I don't know why it's not coming through. What, then are you going to tape it? There it is. Outside or something? Oh, this guy. He must be HVAC or something. He must do HVAC. Oh, yeah. What kind of tape is that? It's tin. Flex tape. It, it's it's duct tape. tape. It's, it's, it's duct supposed tape. to be like tin tape, but it's, I was gonna say, it's Home Depot tin tape, and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how... Uh, Let's see how it'll connect here. Oh, dude. Man. Oh, wait. Is that going to work? Oh, but so no matter what we... Yeah, it'll it sits perfectly not, right under here. So oh, self tap. I don't know if it'll fit now because of the shit that's just rolled through it. We're going to shove it on. Is it supposed to go in it? No, or? it's supposed to go on it. Yeah, so just like push over it. Wiggle. Three of those. No, I am. I'm buried on it. I think we're on, too. Oh, okay. We're cool. It's not going anywhere with this bracket here. Let me see. I can't uh, see. That. No, the bottom's not on. And then we'll have to. I just oh, want to see if it fits. We may actually be a little too long. Oh, we're getting ugga ugga close. We're so yeah, close. we're ugga ugga hitting. We're hitting. We're hitting. All right. So, so which one do I cut? Keep that real quick. Yeah. So we see if it fits first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. We gotta I need push the hot air. <laughs> oh, yeah. pull it out. <laughs> oh, there we go. Keep going. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. 12 foot extension. Oh, Alright, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> you want me to put one on this? <laughs> Double down. One more time, Titan. 
now I know it's not coming out. There. Are we in? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Definitely it. <laughs> ooh, 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 Got a box of nuts. I don't want it. What? It fits, but what it, what goes there that that's just sticking? That ground? So we need to ground that to a... Wait, what are you trying to do? There's a, a, a stud sticking out here. Yeah, so we need to take this, put a switch in between, and then I'll probably stick it right in this panel here. It's for the line dryer. Every so often I'm supposed to flip the switch and it grounds this out, and then it purges the dryer. Dude, we are so official. We're ready for Orange Beach Invasion. That was like a month ago. <laughs> We're still ready for it now. Fucking ejecto think, secret button. Should I button. even spray it? Should I spray it clear while it's hot, you think? Or probably. Do you think just wait, let it cool, spray it so I know how much I'm putting on? Clear, I like to wait till it's cold so I can see what so I'm So you know how yeah, much yeah, I'm putting on. Just do yeah, yeah, clear, Cause clear's really? kinda tricky. I mean, I've tried an outside, but not in an outside range. Just right. Yeah, I know, I've tried outside, not in a range. Yeah. Oh, we're in back. Oh, baby. Did you screw this down? No. I didn't. Yeah, I know. I can't believe seats are going in here either. To be honest. Just seeing that one going in, it's kind of weird. Like, it is kind of weird. All right, take it out. I don't like it. Take it out. We'll go home. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Zach. Here's my land yacht. Run. Start walking. Walks outside, falls over. Run. Down, 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 down. Then. Well, yeah, no shit. Did you plug them in? They're plugged in, but the truck's dead. There's yeah, zero, there's zero juice. Oh my! Yeah. What if this happened? Someone's here in the truck. Yeah. Already? Yeah, it's definitely a tucked in place. It's not All right. Wide. Well, go tell them. Go, 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 go tell them your mic. <laughs> go, go tell them. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we'll plug it in. Let's get this guy. We got so many mods. They're thankful. Hey, Ryan, move your, move your body so you can get a good video. Move my, move, you want me to move my body? <laughs> You're like, wow, that was clever, but that wow. That was a good one, man. That was so weird. You just showed up, that gave, me, gave me 1100 bucks and left. Maybe I'll try act the great heater. There it is. I gotta figure out. No excitement, nothing? <laughs> the wheels aren't on. I wanna be amped, but I got still some things to finish, like I gotta figure that out. I got an Alpha OBD, that's heated and cooled seats. It's great though, cause the power works. So this truck, oh that was all the way back. Yeah, this truck has uh, power seats now, that's awesome. Uh, didn't before, obviously it's got the heated, cool. We have five, five seater now. Our little duct work works just fine back here. We got air coming out, so everything's great. Just said a couple things, a couple things to find, figure out to get it fully going. Check engine light, check engine light. I got to clear airbag light. I got to clear. Um, Are you gonna drive this down to Summit or what? I don't know if we're going to Summit, but I've got lug nuts at home. They're not the long ones, but I can swap them sometime this week. But just for tonight, and maybe even go to Summit in the morning. So nice. So weird as fucking system. Oh, my backup camera still works. It says those mirrors are actually fing me up big time being sideways. No, I can't actually. Wait, oh my gosh, this thing's a clap box. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is. Oh, hey, can you flick the stars on for us? There yet? No. <laughs> Push the button to turn the garage. Holy oh, shit, our DEF is out too. We don't have any music. <laughs> Dude, before we take it to the car wash, can we run it through that pond? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, this thing rides so nice. Oh. Alright, just lift the front and leave the back then. Oh, I forgot. I'll take this in the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you should get you a get a video of it pulling up. <laughs> I lost two. <tuna. laughs> we don't have the wheels on it yet. It doesn't matter. Okay. For the wheels, we have to do it. You gotta tell oh my god! In the car wash. It, it might. Wheels. It would. I don't know, dude. Mine doesn't. We're driving a clap box. Watch out. We, we got star. Care. We got four dudes with a starlight headliner. Somebody's getting <laughs> pregnant. Wow, this train shifts like ass. Hey, so does mine. I hope you know this is a weird. This is that was the fastest this thing's gotten up to after I did the suspension work. So this does feel like we're floating though. It's really weird. Wow, this is great. Look <laughs> at <laughs> eight months of work. We don't even have the wheels on it yet. Wow. <laughs> There's only three lug nuts on each wheel right now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, now that you say that, are there only three lug nuts? We're good. We got some camber going. We're like, that's not normal. Yeah, just take this thing to e-check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> just real quick. <laughs> we got to do all the maintenance on this thing. Yeah. We got to make sure it passes e-check. Make sure, yeah. We're, we're, we're the, that performance shop. We make sure everything passes e-check right. before we're done. <laughs> oh, it would have cleared just fine, I think. We no, can take we can take it out real quick. We can push them out. Yeah, we'll hold it. Oh, guys, look at the stars. Yeah. Oh God, this thing sucks. Brian passed like a. <laughs> you are so like lean, wow. lean back back there. <laughs> I'm bouncing. This is 100 psi in the front. Like this oh, is not dude, comfortable. It's like shit. <laughs> we are so. Is this how all the time. Look in the mirror. We are so tooted. It's unreal. I'm stuck. Oh, oh my god. We're not even on reps, girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No reps. Pull out the brake. Oh. oh, that's like, dude, that makes so yeah. much Oh wow, it's incredible riding at what you're supposed to. Drop the front so you can feel how awful it felt in the back. <laughs> I didn't do that. I think it's leveling itself out. Guys, well, there you freaking have it. Oh my Lanta. Have you ever, I mean ever, and I mean ever, seen a yellow vehicle look this freaking crispy? I can't even explain to you how excited and happy I am with how this thing turned out. All we did is literally take this through the car wash the other day, and it looks so freaking good. All the dust off of it, the yellow paint is beyond popping. Look at this, guys. <laughs> oh, baby. On top of that, have you ever seen another yellow Laramie Longhorn? Absolutely not, <laughs> because we made it. We have the only one. <laughs> the only freaking one. Yes, this interior, obviously the yellow seatbelts, freaking fire. Power seats, they work, baby. This truck did not have power seats before. It does now. Um, only thing that we need to get working, one, uh, the audio still. Audio needs to, to I gotta take it to the dealer, have them do something with it. I don't know, they'll figure it out. Get the audio back in this truck. Next thing, um, uh, probably one of these days this week, I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna flash the truck with the Alpha OBD, tell it it's got the heated seats, tell it's got the vented seats. Actually, it also has memory seats. I don't know how to make this work. I don't, there's probably nothing set. Um, but but yeah, we got the memory seats in this guy, uh, vented seats, heated seats. So we got to turn the turn the truck to or tell the truck it's got them now. Um, like we told the truck, it's got fog lights. Fog lights work. Uh, we still got to get the visors wrapped. Dude, this is crazy. I remember when we picked this thing up and I was just you know driving it, and um, I'd sit there and I would like look over and you know, like just look around inside the truck passenger side or like the radio and stuff. And having this thing be that gray cloth interior, those black plastic 
freaking door panels. Uh, the cubby up here. This dashboard was not leather. Obviously not the big screen. It had the jump seat. It's just, it kind of freaks me out because I feel like there's so much going on in this interior now because obviously this was a base model truck. So now driving this thing, I'm like, Whoa. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, what's going on here? Because there's so much going on in here. Obviously, with the um, the brown now, the brown off the leather, you freaking drive this thing. You see a wood grain steering wheel, and you see a yellow hood. And then out the out the driver window, you see this freaking yellow mirror. That's ridiculous. So I tried to drive with them down. Because frankly, I think this looks so much better. Like, so much better, like that, instead of the running light being down here. It still looks good, don't get me wrong, but I honestly think it looks a million times better with them down. But the problem is, dude, I can't see. With those mirrors down, I legitimately can't see. And it freaks me out because the big mirror, the big glass, when these are folded down, it's the closest mirror, so that's what you look at. But in this mirror, that same car that's up in your face is like way back there. Like way back there. So I, if like you look and you're, it, it's like a double take and it's like, that's too much time to think while driving to see what's in the lane next to you. Honestly, it, it's too much time to just sit there, look, process what's going on. Because that's like, if you gotta think about, oh, is that car too close, is it not? Am I gonna be safe, am I gonna, it, no. <laughs> that's too much, way too much time to think. But overall, this, uh, okay, so bear with me on the mess in here. This truck took every last ounce of my energy and, um, let me use every last tool I had plus getting some. So that's why it's a freaking mess in here because I've been busting my butt on this truck to get it done. And um, now that it's still not fully done, but it's done, it's drivable. I can drive this thing wherever and the rest of it's just adding more things that are gonna make this thing freaking fresh. My fifth gen tails are in fact here. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this stock booty here very, very soon. Wow. Freaking mess, but yeah, uh, we're gonna get rid of this stock booty very soon. Like I'm talking within a couple days. The headlights even might be at home when we get there, so these could be in in the next video. That'll look sick. Uh, I'm gonna just paint that myself. Detonator yellow, clear the whole lens, just like um, Retro Shop does. That'll be awesome. Try this thing through some water one time and I gotta wash the whole thing again. <laughs> That's why it's like pouring right now and I almost don't wanna drive it home, but it's like I don't wanna leave it here because I just worked so hard on this, I wanna drive it again. But it's like, is it really worth it to like, cause this, that was the issue with this truck. I mean, obviously I drove it all winter and um, cause that's all I really had to drive this winter and um, this thing needs a little suspension clean, things painted, it's crazy. How much weather affects all your hard work. But this thing even, guys, I literally, parking this in here, I'm like, it, well, parking this in here and living the other lifestyle for like a second, like the low and wide, this is so freaking huge. Like, I, I can't believe, everyone's like, dude, that truck is massive. That truck is massive. I'm like, nah, because you're just used to it. Well, just the last two days of me driving this, I came back in here today, I'm like, whoa. 12 inches of lift is no joke, that thing's huge. Honestly guys, I love this build beyond belief. This is, this is my pride and joy. This was my first, you know, first build, the first, literally like my first like actual full truck build, first brand new truck. And um, um, so I don't think I can ever get rid of it. Um, within a couple years, I might come through and take this whole thing apart, repowder everything and um, put it back together. But that's ambitious because <laughs> that lift was fun to put on. But same thing with this guys, this thing turned out just beyond sweet, beyond sweet. Um, I can't get over this. I can't get over the fact that, you know, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep these on for, I think when I get the, the, the floor mats power washed and cleaned and all the, the carpet in the, yeah, the floor mats are rubber, but also have carpet in them. So once I get all that cleaned and put those in here, I'll probably take this off. Then I'll probably take our chrome door handle covers off. Like it's just, I might even just leave them on there. So it looks like a brand new freaking truck all the way around. So I don't know. Oh man, this has been 
something. And I, even the brown suede, stars, baby. Come on. Come on. Little touch. Even just like last night, the first time driving with them. Oh, dude. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Like I said, that's like a hundred some bucks to do that. Plus the, plus the suede, which was like 60 bucks. They're about 200 bucks in to do the suede and the stars. Dude, that's incredible. And coming over here, guys, like I said, the back seat, um, awesome as well. These, these rear heat, I think, do work at the moment. Um, I still might need to flash the truck again and tell it it's got rear heat. I think it's kind of a glitch because this lights up and it'll like work but that one if you hit this one it like shuts them all off so i don't know if the truck needs communication issue or what but uh they were working and they did heat up and then like about an hour into riding with them um i don't know if the truck just noticed something and shut them off or whatever so we're gonna fix that um honestly love the longhorn love how there's a freaking belt on this just this is the idea look at the stars in the roof the interior guys Oh my lanta. This thing is nasty. It's just sick. Um, this is this is what I'm this is what I'm saying um, to you guys here. If you guys remember when I got this truck, the day we drove it back from Kentucky, it didn't look like this. It did not freaking look like this. It was a base of base tradesman. Obviously, you already know, low volume color. So uh this was black, those were chrome, bumpers were chrome, no fog lights, fully chromed out grill. Um, I'm not even done with this truck in, in a multitude of ways at the moment. I think I wanna powder some more things. I almost wanna shoot this sway bar, but I kinda like how it plays off the black Raptor shocks. So I may, I may not. Like I said, I do like that, but I also am like, uh, I kinda like how that goes in there, but also I think a red, a lollipop red sway bar would be like pew, a little more pop in there. Drive shafts, I don't know if I'm gonna paint them or powder coat them. If I powder coat, like this front drive shaft is like three U joints. So it's like, am I really gonna pop them apart, put them back together, powder coat or like sandblast the shaft, do that and like just like put three new U joints in? Cause I mean, you're taking them out, you might as well replace them. So it's like, do I really wanna do that or should I just paint it? And then the rear shaft, I'm considering polishing it. So in the comments below, if any of you have polished an aluminum drive shaft, what is the upkeep on that? Because they look good, but if I drive it through the rain once and I can't power wash it off and like, or, or just drive it on a nice day and like after a while it gets whatever, but if I have to polish that thing like <laughs> once a week to make it or to keep it that shiny, then uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. But if anyone has a polished drive shaft, let me know the upkeep on it. Let me know what you need to do to keep it that polished, setting i guess that polished look um because i would love to polish that shaft because it's just like you can't really see much down there but just a little poke um you know if people want to just look at it i don't know i may do it i may not front shaft like i said i don't know if i want to do it red or yellow or silver or polish it or polished aluminum um powder coat it i don't know i honestly have no idea so just a little touch here and there the um, level sensors those links uh, I'm probably gonna take those out those black bars there and blast them powder them red I think red or chrome I don't know I'll probably shoot them red just to add a little more red underneath here but that one and then these back here um, gonna do these sometime this week no biggie no biggie on that get that done Bed liner, it does look good black, don't get me wrong, but I think I think if I did the red bed liner, that's just kind of like a big, like, yeah, I, it's like everything on this truck was touched. So that's kind of the reason why I also want to do the red bed liner, and I got the paint here. The paint is, ooh, this is a shot. Look at how girthy that is. Come on, baby. The reason why I want to do the red bed liner is because legitimately, then everything is touched. Um, like, you, you, you'll, I pull this truck to a show or anywhere, and seeing the red liner and seeing everything else underneath it, people are gonna be like, yeah, there's some work into this truck. And that's kind of what I, you know, that's kind of the goal here with any of these builds. This truck, people are like, what the heck? This, it's more of like a, oh my gosh, what is this? Um, like I said, can't wait to take it to like the dealer and have them uh, <laughs> to get a reaction out of them or something because 
Never ever has there been a yellow Longhorn. In my opinion, this is like the only color truck that like, if I put this in that truck, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, I was trying to find a black Laramie interior for that. That was my goal with this truck was do this to that one. But where I stopped was, because it's a six speed, you really gotta find that jumper seat with no cup holders that'll accommodate the G56 trans. So finding a, Lar a, a, a interior out of a G56 Laramie truck, slim to none, um, slim to none. So I don't think I've ever seen that kind of interior for sale, really. I honestly haven't. So that's why this one hasn't ever changed and I'm not complaining. I like the Bighorn interior. It's got the Evic, it's got the Uconnect, it's got cloth seats. Um, like I said, driving this yellow truck with all the bells and whistles now, it's almost like, I don't wanna say claustrophobic, <laughs> but it almost gives me anxiety because it's like, holy crap, man, there is so much going on in here. I can't even, I can't even explain. Like I said, there's just a bunch of chrome and flashy things here and obviously the stars doesn't have to be on, but so much chrome, so much to look at that, especially off of it, it's like, whoa, dude, like I've never owned a high trim truck. Um, I never cared for it. <laughs> this is pretty sweet, but like I never cared to like, oh, I need a Limited, I need a Longhorn, um, I need a Laramie, like I, I never cared for it. Now having one, that all the people sit there. I hate that. I freaking hate that because it's like, yo, bro, I got a freaking Longhorn. I got a Laramie. I got a Limited. I got a Platinum. I got a whatever. Dude, this interior was $4,500. $4,500. And I just turned a $40,000 truck into a $75,000 truck. I'm telling you, dude. I, that's why people sit like, dude, <laughs> I can't. I mean, the rest of the truck speaks for itself, but like, that's what I'm saying. $4,500, this is a freaking tradesman. No, I mean, not anymore. It's a full Longhorn, and like I said, the badging and everything, that's why it's on the truck, because this truck deserves it. Um, it's got everything a Longhorn should. People are gonna say, why don't you do the backsliding glass? To be honest, dude, this window and this window. Night and day difference driving. I love this. I freaking love this window. No slider, whole glass pane. I can see out the back. There's nothing restricting my view. It's like, you look in your rear view mirror, you're like, whoa, complete game changer. Cause honestly, it's a big truck, but like the pillars where the thing slides and all the headrest and stuff, it, it does block a lot of your vision. So getting in here, looking in the rear view mirror, it's like a wake up call almost. It's like nuts. Um, I love how the glass is plain. I love how I can see right through it. I love how there's not a slider. So no, I'm not gonna switch it out. I do have the switch to make it work and all that, but I'm just not gonna do it because I love this window. Um, I absolutely love that glass and I can't, I can't, I cannot switch that out. Only other thing I think this truck does not have that a Longhorn does, minus the audio at the moment, adjustable pedals, but like I said, the plug's right here. If I wanna put the adjustable pedals in, here's our plug. Here's the dummy switch. Um, all I would do is put that in there and get the get the pedals and I think maybe a module, but I really don't care because I don't, you, every truck I've had with adjustable pedals, which was like one of them. One truck, my 06 had adjustable pedals. I never adjusted them. I set them and forgot them, so I really don't care for that. So I don't need to go get a you know set of pedals and um, that to make it work. But yeah, like I said, if you wanted to, here's your, <laughs> here's the here's the harness. Here's the freaking harness, guys, plug it in and uh, you're good to go. Uh, like I said, we got this chrome shifter on order. That's the last kind of interior touch. We got our upper glove box in and all that, but waiting on this, and we'll just take this out, take this harness out, you know, that inverted Torx here, and um, put the new one in and put the plastic pack on and call this a day. The interior's done. The other, other thing, the other thing that this truck doesn't have that a Longhorn does is the power folding mirrors. Now, you could have opted for it from Boost Auto Parts, my only thought on that is, I got the power folds on this truck. I really don't care for it. I really don't. Um, I don't really use them. And I already folded these once to go into the car wash and I have to touch up the mirrors here at the bottom. Add a little paint right there because it, it hit each other. So I, I'm not worried about you know the power fold. I hardly ever fold the mirrors anyway. So didn't really opt for that and didn't want to add that. So pretty much this is a full out Longhorn with no power fold 
and no power rear window. But it's the only, only one that is freaking detonator yellow. Only one. So that's awesome. And to be, to be honest, it's like I built this. I did this. I did this. I'm happy. I'm excited. I can't believe, I can't believe it. And like all of you who have been watching this whole time, I touched every single bolt on this truck. I put every single thing on this truck. I painted every single thing on this truck. I had some help with my friends getting the bed off. You know, people coming to help me with this lift. But this whole truck was built right here. Um, entirely, entirely right here. And, um, and the, the same thing with this truck. I did pretty much everything on this truck. I built it. I did it all. And that's what impresses me the most, is like now I've got two Rams, SEMA Rams, like it's still technically SEMA, <laughs> like it's still technically SEMA build, same concept, just a three inch air ride. So almost more bougie, <laughs> cause like why only three inches? That's what I'm saying is like I've got two SEMA style trucks here that I built and I touched every single thing on them, which makes me proud. And that's my whole purpose of these videos, guys, is literally to show you, look what I did. <laughs> I'm amazed too, by the way. When I got this, I hated the color yellow. I didn't think it would end up like this. However, I think the red is probably the sharpest color we could put underneath. I was thinking illusion purple. I think, because that would be pretty hot too, but the red just sets it off, honestly. Perfect color combo. The brushed off of everything else. Chrome mirrors, just a touch of chrome in the badging. Perfect. Non-chrome handles. Love that, absolutely love that. Like I said guys, I just wanna show you guys what the heck I did with literally the probably ugliest base, and it's not even done yet, but probably the ugliest canvas. And look at how beautiful it became. Literally, be careful who you bully in high school, guys. <laughs> because look at this. This thing is nuts. I know everyone was waiting for this thing to be done, and like I said, I told you, the wheels were worth the wait. They were worth the wait, and I'm glad you see that now, and I'm glad you guys see my vision that I had months ago now as well. This thing is just spectacular. I can't get over it, and like I said, I built every single part of this truck, and like all my friends who were here to support me doing this and um, help me do this too, thank you guys, honestly. It's just been nuts. It's been nuts and crazy and I'm thankful that the meat and potatoes of this build is finally done and we can get back, we can get back into relaxing, chill content and we'll be bringing in another awesome build here very soon. We gotta do this kit car next. Um, this is gonna be nasty. This is, we're, honestly, this thing, the way it sits is not how it's gonna end up. The wheels, those are got, those gotta go. We gotta powder coat those. Exhaust, we gotta Cerakote that. Um, we gotta do a lot of stuff to this car. Um, that'll be starting soon and that should be quick. It's just a lot of body work, some wiring, and we can get that done. But we're gonna be tackling a lot of stuff on the Banana Ram. A few more things on the Eco Diesel. Um, eventually, still want to get you know Big Green all regeared and stuff. Regeared and stuff, not stuffed. Eco Diesel's chilling out there, looking all pretty. But yeah, guys, there's a couple things we got to do across the board to uh, you know every single vehicle I have here. <laughs> there's a couple things here and there, but I'm just glad that I now have a drivable truck and i think this truck is going to make its show debut in nashville next month um i got invited to sit in the alpha rex booth and i think if everything goes as planned uh this truck will be in nashville next month so if you're going out to music city showdown this should be there um in daytona my buddy dude lovejoy is going to put this on his trailer and take it down for us this will be in my booth in daytona this will be in my booth in daytona a couple buddies trucks will be in my booth in daytona um so come out see all the wild crazy stuff but if you're gonna go to nashville this should be there um come out take a look at it this thing is just stunning so and look at this guys i even just found the original window sticker for this truck this is hilarious 2018 tradesman crew cab thirty nine thousand dollars and the total price is fifty five thousand dollars on this truck um, that's prior to, uh, I mean, obviously everything we did, but um, detonator yellow, clear coat, black and diesel gray cloth, bench seat, not anymore. 
Um, I could switch this to a stick, but no. But look at this. 373, there's all your stuff for you guys if you're interested in it. 55,310. So I'd be interested to see a window sticker on a um, 2018 Longhorn truck. I would like to see the sticker on that. Um, like I said, this has $9,300 for the motor, but that's what I'm saying. This truck didn't have this. It didn't have this. Uh, it didn't have any of this. So I would like to see the sticker on that. Um, see where we're at. Um, I don't like I said, there's some used Longhorns out there right now going for a decent amount. But all I'm saying is I put a $4,500 interior in this truck. And it's now a Ram 2500 Longhorn Crew Cab 4x4. That's probably like a $75,000 truck that I just upped from a $55,000 truck for like $4,500. That's nuts. And not even to include... The full air ride kit. All of this stuff we added, and uh, eventually we might get to horsepower on this truck. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, is for 4,500 bucks, bump the value of this truck 20 grand. That's nuts. Anyways, guys, so driving this thing, this thing is absolutely freaking nuts. Look at this. Like, this is my view from the cockpit. I'm like eye level right now. This is 100% what you see. Um, you got the wood grain. You got the freaking yellow. You got this yellow. You got the chrome. It's super snazzy. Unfortunately, it's raining, but we'll clean this in the morning. You get that. You get the Longhorn everything except our chrome shifter so far. But we, you get the Longhorn everything. Longhorn glove box. Other Longhorn, like the mirrors. I was never one for the freaking high up interiors. Like, oh, oh, I'm spending 70 some thousand dollars for a truck that I can get for 50. You know, that, that was my mental concept like I didn't really need the bells and whistles but now that I have the bells and whistles I will say especially with the leather seats and everything I didn't really like leather before but this is rather nice I will say this is quite nice and quite relaxing and it's kind of very awesome like we've got the luxury of a high-end truck we did not pay that price one freaking bit I can't wait to finish this build completely I want to give you guys a full um, you know price of like converting this whole truck doing what i did air right not only converting it from stock suspension but oh look at this blue jeep that's a pretty color Ooh, i'm gonna once i'm completely done with this truck completely done i mean we big chunk like i said there's a handful of things exterior wise i gotta do but once that's done um i want to give you guys like a full out price of what it will actually take to convert your truck from a, just a base of base tradesman to a High trim truck with an air ride suspension. So I, I wanna give you guys that full rundown and everything. I will say, people are like, oh, should we do air ride? Which, you know, is, does, is air ride worth it? I will say, even with the rubber bands we're rolling on, this truck rides incredible. Um, speed, I not like speed bumps, but like bumps in the road like that, um, really, really soft. I will say that, it's incredibly soft. It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's very cushy, it's very comfortable. It just drives really freaking well. It, it, it definitely getting into it for the first time. You gotta get used to the airbag feel, especially like this kind of airbag, not like a factory airbag, because they do have a little bit left and right play in them, obviously inflated. Um, so you kinda gotta get used to that feel, but that's what's crazy, is that road incredible over those bumps. We got rubber bands on it. This thing, we drove this thing with stock tires the other day to the car wash, and um, that was even a better ride with 18s and 33s. Oh, it was even a better ride, so. I can't complain one bit, guys, and I'm just gonna honestly let you enjoy this view with me because, whew, sheesh, 100% worth it. I am so, I'm just, right now I am right now I'm and honestly this is some incredible work no matter what who says what um, in the comments below this is legitimately some incredible work one you don't see this two you don't see people one doing this to an obnoxious color but like I said me seeing this vision of this yellow Texas style truck dude this is nuts and I can't get over it I just can't look at this. Longhorn door panels, man. Just what, like what? Absolutely what? I want I want you guys to go back in some of these videos. Go back and watch some of the ones where this was a tradesman inside. And dude, this is game changing. This truck has changed 100 freaking percent. I don't think I'll ever 
ever get tired of this view and I know a lot of you are gonna be like is this a giveaway truck is this a giveaway truck my answer is I don't know I'm gonna be real with you it's supposed to be a giveaway truck I was gonna give this to one of you because I was like oh let's let's give somebody that experience <laughs> but I'm gonna be selfish for a minute and I'm at least gonna run it through show season like I said it's going to Nashville it'll be in Daytona Hopefully it'll make its way out to SEMA. But it'll make its way through show season and maybe this fall somebody might end up with this truck. But right now, I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna enjoy it fully because 24,000 miles, a yellow Longhorn, you don't see it and you will never, ever, ever get this experience again. So I'm gonna rock this one out just for a minute. And then in the future, one of you may be able to be in this driver's seat as well. All right, we're gonna go over these railroad tracks, guys, just to see this. Honestly, like we're on pillows. Like we were on pillows. That, I mean, we kind of are with the bags, but whew, suspension is definitely worth it. I was never a fan of the air ride. It is sweet, it does move, but the concept of it is also awesome because legitimately it rides so freaking good. It was a lot to install, let me tell you. However, with it installed, this thing rides perfect. <laughs> 